Hey, what's happening, guys? I am still a bit under the weather, so pardon my voice. But uh feeling better enough to do a video today. And today we're going to take a look at this power supply from Juntech. This is the uh, Juntech 8624. This is a, uh, what, 10 to uh, 75 volt input, uh, 0 to 60 volt output, 24 amp, basically buck converter power supply. So you can't put household current in or household current into it. You need to uh, put DC into it. But from there, it's a pretty unique little device. It can be controlled from here. It can be controlled through here by plugging it into the computer using a simple TTL interface. And it can be controlled wirelessly using this neat little remote control. You can see I'm changing the current there, 2.04, 2.2, So that's pretty neat, I think. Let's take a closer look at it, and then we'll take it apart and uh, see what makes it tick. But first, I want to give a big thank you to Juntech for sending this out to us free of charge for our consideration. Thank you very much. Okay, I've got it hooked into this little electronic load tester and we're set for 5 volts 1 amp and it is putting out 5 volts at uh, 50 milliamps and a quarter of a watt so what we'll do is we'll turn this up some and put some strain on it here increasing our load Oh, well, you guys can see that. That's a 0.6 amp. You can see they're putting out 0.63. Shows the same up there. So it's doing pretty well. I'm going to increase the current value here. See, it's set for 5 amps now. What are we putting out? 1.82. Let's turn it all the way up. So our maximum, 4.5 amps. 21.55 watts. 4.31 amps showing there. We're seeing what 4.47 there. And 4.32 there. All around, not so bad. Let's take a look at how the... Uh, the actual power looks on this thing. So I will uh, shut the output off there real quick and we'll hook up the scope. Remove the four screws that were in the bottom of it. And the bottom comes off real easy. And we're looking at the back of a circuit board that has been tinned heavily. switch over here Don't to carefully avoid that huh. give me a second okay it popped right out of there no trouble at all so we've got a couple little connectors on the board here there's a fan connector and then there's this JST connector for the controls Alright, so we've got Bluetooth, or no, that's, um, uh, what is it, that's used with Arduino. We have an R isolated RS-485 module that goes over here. I don't know, maybe that is Bluetooth, I'm not quite sure. Looks like an ESP-01, which is why I was thinking that. Now, if you look here, we've got three current shunts. 
one of them is touching. I'm not sure that's a good thing. Actually, there'd be two of them touching there, wouldn't it? A little bit of separation there. That's better. Now we have some separation in there. Over here on our filtering side, we got a big old toroid for the switch mode. Pardon, had to sneeze. A couple of big Chang's in caps. 1000 microfarad at 100 volt. Since this is DC to DC, there's no real high voltage side, so there's no need for isolation slots or anything like that. Everything looks pretty good. Seems well built. Put a lot of tin on there to carry all the current this thing's capable of. Alright, let's put it back together. So there it is, back together. And uh, it's a nice little unit. Comes with this uh, USB to TTL cable, which you can use. Hook up this little communications interface here. And you can download some software and run it from your computer. Also comes with one of these guys. And now they sent me two of these units. This is the 24 amp version. And then they also sent me a 50 amp version. I don't even know if I can get far enough away for you to see the difference in size. But they operate exactly the same. So, there are mounting holes here, so you can mount this wherever you'd want. Output on one side, input on the other, there's communication. You can program it from here, but it's much easier to do it with the computer or the remote control. I don't know where I stand on wireless power supplies yet. Um, it's a neat thing, but it seems to me to be just a, because you can, that's why they created it. Whenever I'm working on something on the bench with the power supply, I'm, I'm generally right here, you know. My power supply sits right there. But, I don't know, it's neat. And the price on this is about $80 from uh, AliExpress. So, something to consider if you're into wireless power supplies or... You know, just remember, this is this is simply a buck converter. You are going to need to feed it DC. So if you have a solar power system or a battery bank or something like that, this will make a nice little system for you. Okay? All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to you guys for watching. Big thanks again to Junk Tech for sending this out. That's it. I'm out. Peace.